Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we will be installing macOS Sequoia, that is macOS 15 on VMware. So the first step is to download the VMware OS workstation book. So you can simply go to the official website or you can also go to techspot.com to download the VMware workstation book. So as I've already downloaded the file, so I will skip this process. Now once the file is downloaded, just double click on it to start install. Now click on next. Now accept these terms and conditions and click on next again. Click on next and you can uncheck these boxes and click on next again and click install meanwhile this is installing the next step is to download the vmware unlocker so simply google this vmware unlocker and go to this github link once you are there simply click on code and download the zip file i have already downloaded the file so i am skipping this process the next step is to download the macOS Sequoia ISO file. So I will provide all these download links in the video description below. So you can simply click on this link and download the file. Once all the files are downloaded, as you can see that VMware Workstation Pro setup is complete. So simply click on finish. Now, double click on the VMware unlocker file and you will see these set of files. So before proceeding, just open your Microsoft Store and search for Python. And you can install the, you can install any version of it. So I have already installed the version 3.1.2. So once this is installed, simply close this browser and right click on win-install file and click run as administrator. Now click on yes. And once the patching is complete, it will say starting VMware services. Once you are here, it will automatically close the terminal. Now close this and open your VMware workstation pro. Now click on create a new virtual machine. Now select custom and click on next. Select workstation 70.5.x. Click on next and click and select I will install the operating system later. Again click on next and select Apple Mac OS X and in the version you can select Mac OS 14 for now. Click on next again and you have to name your virtual machine. So I am keeping it Mac OS 15 by technicure.com and you can keep this location as default. Now click on next again. Under number of processor, select it to 2 and under number of cores, select it to 4. And click on next again. Now with the memory, you can allot it to the maximum recommended memory that is somewhere around 16 GBs. Once done, click on next again. You can keep this by default and click on next again. Next next and select create a new virtual disk again click on next leave this maximum disk space to 80 gbs and checkbox this as store virtual disk as a single file now click on next again click on next again under this section you have to click on customize hardware once you have clicked on customize hardware simply go to new cd Start. Now click on use ISO image file and click on Brats. Now you have to select the macOS Sequoia ISO file that you have just downloaded. Now just click on open. Once set up, click on close and click finish. Once your virtual machine is created, now close your VMware workstation. The next step is to copy this set of codes and go to your documents, virtual machine, 
macOS 15 that we have just created and select this file as right click on this and click open with and note now go to the end and simply paste this and save the file once this file is saved close this and close the browser now you have to again open your VMware workstation here. Now simply select your virtual machine and click on this start up this guest operating system. Now you will see this Apple logo and this entire process will take around 30 minutes so you will have to wait for a while. So for now I am installing macOS 15 on VMware and in my next video I will be installing it on virtual world. so stay tuned. Now under language select English and click on next. Under macOS recovery now go to disk utility and click on front. Now select this virtual SATA hard drive and click on erase. Now you can name this as macOS 15 by techlisher.com you can keep the format as APFS and schema as GOID partition map and click on it now click on done and close your disk utility now simply click on install macOS 15 beta and click on continue click on continue again Now accept these terms and conditions, click on agree, now select your hard disk and click on continue. Now this process will take around 20 minutes, if so I will see you in a while. So just to let you know that uh, your virtual machine might restart several times so you don't have to panic. <clears throat> also I estimated that it will take around 30 minutes but it took me almost 51 minutes. So let's proceed. Now you will once the installation is complete you will see this where you will have to select your country and region. So since I am based in India so I will select India and click on Continue. Now click on continue again. You can skip this and click on not more. Now click on continue again and select not more. As for the sign in to your Apple ID, you can simply click on setup data and click on skip. Now accept these terms and conditions and click on agree. Now you have to create a computer account. So I am keeping it. Tech Richard. Now you have to type in your password. Once done, click on continue. So this step will take a while. So once the account is created, you can simply click on continue and click on don't use. 
now you have to select your time zone for that you have to click on the map and select your country so since i am based in new delhi i will select new delhi and click on continue now click on continue again and you can click on set up data now you can choose your look for now i am keeping it night and click on continue again so the setup is finally complete and you can click on continue so you can close this feedback assistant and you can see that your mac os 15 is now ready to be used so with this you have successfully installed mac os 15 on vmware on your windows pc and now you can enjoy all the features and updates that have been provided by Apple. So just like this calculator app, you can use the basic scientific or the programmer version and you can also use the latest convert feature. So you can simply convert your currency from INR to Euros and not so ever. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. So do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.